Grandpa, look! A fire truck! Hop <laughs> in, Caillou. <laughs> Very good, Caillou. But how about we try it for real? It's too loud! <laughs> that was awesome! Whew. Say, how about we try that police car next? You are under arrest, mister. Oh no, Grandpa! Where are you going to take me? We're going downtown. I've got some questions for you. <gasps> <laughs> Actually, uh, I'm uh, much too tired to arrest anybody today. Hop out, Caillou. Grandpa, Grandpa, what's this one? That's a garbage truck, Caillou. <gasps> Ew! Grandpa, what's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> Come and take a look at this. Whoa! What happens to it after it's been crushed? Well, some of it goes to a big landfill, and the rest, like paper, plastic, and some metal, gets recycled. Which means it gets made into something completely new, hmm. so that it can be used again. A train! Choo-choo! Chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga. This must be for really big farms. Oh, well, let's hop in, Farmer Caillou. Well, I'd say we're going to have a good harvest this year, Farmer Caillou. Yep, lots of carrots and potatoes and, and, and candy. <laughs> Candy? Wow, this must be a very special farm indeed. <laughs> Say, we'd better get you home, Farmer Caillou. Why don't you take these with you? Wow! Thanks, Grandpa! I can't wait to show Mommy and Daddy! Caillou, Clementine, and Leo were at play school. Miss Martin was teaching them all about fire safety. Who knows what a smoke detector is? A smoke detector tells us if there's any smoke in the air. And why is this important? Because if there is smoke, it means there is a fire. 
That's right, Clementine. Do any of you know where the smoke detector in this room is? Is that it? Not quite, Caillou. That's the fire alarm. If there is a fire, it'll ring loudly and let us all know. Is that it up there? That's right! The smoke detector is the round box on the ceiling with the flashing light. When there is a fire, smoke rises up to the ceiling, all the way up to the blinking box. Then we have to call the firefighters. I'd like to be a firefighter when I grow up! Well, you can tell that to the firefighters when we get to the fire station this afternoon. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> when Caillou and his friends arrived at the fire station, they all ran straight to the big fire trucks. Hey there, kids. It's great to have you all here visiting the fire station. Can we have a ride on the fire truck? <laughs> we can later, but there's a lot to learn about fire safety first. Let's head into the station, and you can meet my pal Sparky. He's a firefighter, too. Caillou looked around the station. He saw a big pair of boots, a long coat, and best of all, a shiny red hat. Wow, looks like we've got a real firefighter right here. What do you think, Sparky? Can he join the team? <laughs> As you've already seen, here are all our uniforms, which are very special. Fire is so hot, when we wear these, we're extra protected from getting burnt. Here's the pole we slide down in an emergency to get to the fire truck as quick as we can. If we took the stairs, we could trip from all the rushing we have to do. Can we slide down the pole? Well, you sure can. Let's meet the rest of the team first. Coming down! How do you know when there's a fire? Good question, young man. That's what this big computer here is for. The 911 call tells us where the fire is, and the computer tells us how to get there as fast as possible. Caillou and his friends liked learning about fire safety, but Caillou was more excited about having a ride on the fire truck. Is it time to have a ride on the fire truck yet? As long as Firefighter Steve says it's okay. Well, if you're going to be a firefighter, you're going to need to learn how to drive the truck. Everyone was excited to watch Firefighter Steve show off what the fire truck could do, especially Caillou and Leo. First, he showed them the hose for putting out fires. Caillou thought it was much stronger than the hose Daddy used to water the flowers. Then, the other fire officer stood on top of the ladder as it got longer and longer. Caillou watched it go up and down. Fireman Steve saved the best to last. Now, firefighter in training, I'm going to need you to flick the siren switch. What does the siren do? Press the button and find out. Caillou didn't expect that at all. It was a loud noise that would tell everyone that the fire truck was coming. Caillou had a fantastic day at the station. He couldn't wait to be a real firefighter someday. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited to come to work with me today, Caillou? Yeah, look at what Mommy made me. Wow, what a great tie. numbers, Daddy? Well, Caillou, if you press a number, the elevator takes you to that floor. Why don't you give it a try? We're going to level four. Cool. Good morning, Boris. Oh, and this must be Caillou. Your daddy says a lot of nice things about you. Good 
Good morning. Caillou, this is Valerie. She runs the whole office. Wow. Very nice to meet you, <laughs> Miss Valerie. <gasps> so, this is where Daddy sits every day. <laughs> well, Daddy does lots of things, Caillou. Right now, Valerie needs us to make some copies for a presentation. Copies? But Mrs. Martin says you shouldn't copy other people's work. <laughs> oh, Caillou, we need to make some copies so that everyone can read it. It's kind of like a show and tell. Oh, cool! Well, you take whatever it is that you want to copy and put it up here. Then, you press the number for how many copies you want to make. And they pop right out into that tray. Wow! So it can copy anything? <laughs> well, not quite anything. Oh, uh, careful, Caillou! Valerie needs me. I'll be right back. Why don't you finish putting those copies together? Finished! Oh, excuse me, sir. Have you seen my son? He's about your height with a yellow shirt it's and... It's me, Daddy. Now I'm a business person just like you. Oh, Caillou, you don't need glasses or a mustache for that. <gasps> but it does suit you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's time for Valerie's big meeting. So we've had a special helper around the office today. Caillou has been helping Boris prepare for today's meeting. And he really has been lending a hand. <laughs> that was so cool, Daddy. When I grow up, I want to work in an office just like you. <laughs> and you'll be the best office worker there is. Hey, Caillou, look what's just arrived. A package! What is it? Is it for me? It's for all of us, Caillou. Come into the kitchen and I'll show you. Okay. Mommy, look! A man brought us a package! How exciting! I wonder what it could be. Want to help me open it? I can do that! What is it? 
It's a pasta-making machine. Pasta? Like spaghetti? <laughs> yes, we can make all kinds of pasta shapes. I know. Why don't we pretend we're running our own Italian restaurant? Yay! Can we invite Grandma and Grandpa? Great idea, Caillou. We can do a pasta and pizza's evening. Grandpa loves pizza. First, the pasta. We need eggs and pasta flour and a pinch of salt. There. Now, Caillou, slowly put the flour into this big bowl. <coughs> Caillou, that's why I said slowly. <laughs> okay, now the eggs. Tap them on the side of the bowl like this and pull the shell apart. Great job, Caillou! Me do! Me do! Rosie, you've messed it up! Don't worry, Caillou. Maybe Rosie will be better at helping with the pizza dough. Now, Caillou, mix the eggs into the flour. It can be a bit messy, but that's okay. Now we have to knead our dough. That means move it around, stretch it, and press it until it's smooth. This is hard work. My arms hurt. Why don't we take a rest? We can make a menu if you like. Mommy, Rosie has drawn some spaghetti. Well done, Rosie. Let's go and show Daddy. Daddy, look at the menu we made. Wow, that looks amazing. The pictures look good enough to eat. Okay, Caillou, I'll hold the pasta and you can turn the handle. Making spaghetti! It looks delicious. Now for the pizzas. Here are the toppings. First, spread the tomato sauce on the pizza. Next, a good sprinkling of cheese. Look, it's snowing cheese! And now the best bit. Make a face. Look, Grandpa, we made a menu. This looks great. I think I'll have pizza and spaghetti. They both look so delicious. Me too. Mm. Look, everyone. My pizza has got curly hair and a curly beard, too! <laughs> <laughs>